What can you, uh, what advice can you give to, you know, young kids out there who has like a step parent? Uh, similar. The similar setup? Setup. Mm -mm. Kasi marami ding ganun dito. Kasi marami din namang mga nahihiwalay. Pero ang dami kong horror stories na nadidinig about their stepmoms or. But basta hindi masyadong, oh, on, hindi masyadong maganda yung relationship. What can you. For me. It wasn't always like a super easy thing. There mm. was a time, an adjustment period when I was younger and living in Australia where I did have like a little bit of a grudge, if I'm 100% honest. There was a time where like, you know, I, because I was the eldest and I was the one that was, I was like a decent age when we moved. So for me, it was like I had to move away from my dad, and you were so five. I was five. That was also part of the reason why I didn't really want to move here in the first place. And I even said like, I'm never gonna live in the Philippines. Yeah, in the beginning, she didn't want like, to and move I didn't, here. I didn't even really like visiting, to be honest. Like I enjoyed it, and I would. I, it's it's not to say that I was difficult to deal with, mm -hmm. and I, I was I was never disrespectful. Or no, mean never, to never, them. Never, never. It was just that I was kind of yeah. like, you know, that angsty teen that was like, mm, my, <laughs> my, <laughs> mm. <laughs> like, you know, because I guess I missed my dad, and yeah. and I wanted to be able to talk to him. So, and he was busy, and it was just like this whole situation of I didn't know how to how to I guess forgive completely. And the one that really s encouraged me to do that was my mother. And she's like, you know, like you cannot live your life blaming people. You know, it, it's happened and it's in the past and it's important to move on. So there was a time where like, it was difficult for me to deal with. And I'm sure that's what a lot of people go through now. There's a lot of mm. people who can't get over that hump of like, of acceptance and forgiveness. And that goes for the child and the parent, you know, sometimes the step parent also is kind of like awkward, doesn't know how to accept the child, sometimes they don't want to. So there's a lot of variables in the situation, but I guess my advice is to be open-minded. Maybe your step parent has something to offer you that you don't get from other people, because I'm also, you know, I believe people are put into our lives for a reason. Mm. And also like that whole stigma around, oh, it's awkward. You know, mm. like, I've noticed a lot of people, when they would see us all together, sometimes they're like, oh, isn't that awkward? And it's like, <laughs> it's weird. if we don't find it awkward, then it shouldn't be. And I'm very blessed to have four parents who are very open-minded. Even my dad and my stepdad, like, traveled to the UK, just the two of them. You know, that's a very rare case, but it's something that I'm really happy was able to happen. My stepmom and my mom also get along really well mm -hmm. and they can hang out just the two of them. And it's like all of us have these different unique relationships. But you know, it's very understandable for for kids to feel angry or to, you know, hold grudges against the, the stepmom. Normal yan eh, kasi ako yung naging reason why your dad left, diba? Ako yung naging reason. And you would think na ako talaga yung reason, and it wasn't because of them. It wasn't because their marriage was uh, not working, or, or kung ano man, kung ano man yung naging nagka problema ba sila, or what. You would always think na it's because of the new girl. Yeah, <laughs> it's always that part, and that's why it was very difficult for me also on my part because even if you didn't hate me or even if you didn't say anything i knew that you somehow had that feeling towards me and yeah. i knew that and ako naman on my part kesa naman palakihin ko pa yung garage na yon at maging garage na siya <laughs> i'll work on our relationship diba sa akin yun ang maipapayo ko work on your relationship and it's not going to be an overnight thing it's not Baka nga hindi pwede ng one year eh. But eventually, you will have uh, a relationship 
na can work for both of you. Kasi ang importante naman yun, yung relationship talaga eh. Kahit na hindi masyado maganda, at least meron pa rin. Yeah, I mean, pa it doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have so to be. So that's another but, thing. You don't, you shouldn't also compare yeah, your don't, family don't, to other families. But just have a relationship. That's the most important thing. And how do you get a relationship? By just talking. Yun lang naman yun eh. Ako, since I wasn't very busy, siguro talagang, talagang tinakda ni Lord na you were gonna come here at that certain time, at a certain moment. Because I wasn't really doing much yeah. with my career, and I, I'm, I was meant to be here so that I can have a relationship with you, I can build a relationship with you, I can talk to you and know you personally. Kasi yun ang importante. And talagang I really worked on it. Uh, Nag-effort nag talaga ako na minsan akala na asawa ko, hindi ako nag-effort kasi minsan na... na <laughs> na na aabutan niya ako na nasa room ako at nag, nag I was taking a nap because yeah. I was taking a break from all yeah. the Englishing so yeah. so he was saying why are you here why are you not talking to I just I was just there I'm just resting my brain <laughs> yeah. no but yun mga little things like that also one thing to keep in mind is yung acceptance of of the things Di ba marami naman talagang bagay na hindi sumasang-ayon sa gusto mo? Uh, minsan, plano mong kumain ng adobo, iba yung kinain <laughs> Minsan on a daily basis, yeah. like, right, you you crave for something and you ended up... With something else. Di ba? Yeah. Because that's just how it is. So, what do you do? You accept things the way they are. And I think that's one of the reasons why it became easier for me as a stepmom. Kasi inaccept ko yung situation ng asawa ko. Kasi pinili ko naman siya eh. It was my choice. But, eh, ito yung napili ko eh. So, pinapanindigan ko yun. It just so happened that you were in the situation. We fell in love. But, you know, you have a family already that time. And, and it was very, very difficult. I always say this whenever we have an interview that we had a very difficult beginning. Because it was. It was very, very difficult for both of us. And I can't even begin to imagine how difficult it was for you guys. Like I said before, I love your dad so much. Na iyak ako. Me that, too. <laughs> <laughs> na iyak ako. That if I have to do it all over again, I would probably, if 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 God would allow me to, alam mo yon yung pipiliin mo lang yung moments in your life, and then keep the good ones. I would probably mute or I'll delete completely delete the part where I hurt you and your mom. I would completely delete it. Kasi yung pinagdaanan ko na mahirap, I would do that again in a heartbeat because I love your dad. But the part where I hurt you, I don't like that. And I never liked it. You know, I would always have a part of me na parang, parang guilty ako doon. And I don't know if I already apologized to you. No, you did. You I did. did. I'm sorry for that. And... <laughs> May maniniwala ba sa akin? Ganito ka kapal yung kaya. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, hindi ko naman yun... Minsan may mangyayari sa buhay mo na hindi mo gugustuhin eh. Pero it just happened. Yeah. And, and at that time, when I was falling in love with Augie, in my heart, parang feeling ko, I'm not gonna, it's not gonna happen. Pero in my heart, parang feeling ko, parang, parang uh, hindi ko, hindi ako mabubuhay kung wala siya. Tapos parang ayoko nang ma-inlove kung, kung hindi lang din siya. Parang ganun yung nasa isip ko. But at the same time, I also have this other part where I know I'm gonna hurt you. And I'm gonna hurt Michelle. And a lot of times, um, pinag-awayan namin yun ng tatay mo. Yeah. We broke up many times because of that. Because I wanted to leave him. I wanted to leave him. I wanted to go away. I wanted to... Because I couldn't accept it. And siya naman, he didn't naman also allow me to to leave. Yeah. Kasi parang hindi din niya kaya na hindi yeah. na ako, hindi na magiging ako. So, ayun yung nangyari. And then finally, they decided to part ways and then here we are. Nung time na yon, I talked to Michelle 
and she made me promise something. She said to me that, promise me that my children will always have their father. And I promised her, yes. So whenever you need him, he will always be there because I promised her that kahit ano pa, kahit ano pang mangyari dito, basta kailangan ka ng mga anak mo, you will go to them. And that would be okay with me. So parang, even with me and Michelle, naging priority, tuloy nung naging okay na kami lahat, na by the way, kinaririo ng asawa ko, pinag-pray, na, pinag-pray niya yun, talagang, it was him who worked really hard so that me and Michelle will have a, will have a relationship. And, you know, I have to say, your mom is such a wonderful person also. Yeah. She's such a wonderful person. Ang bait-bait po talaga ni Michelle. Kasi, mabait din naman ako, pero hindi magiging ganito yung relationship namin kung hindi niya ginawa yung part niya. Kung hindi rin siya naging forgiving, naging accepting. Hindi rin magiging ganito. Kasi hindi naman pwedeng one side lang eh. It has to be both sides, di ba? So, naging, sa pag-uusap namin, naging priority namin are you guys. Uh, when we were talking, we were saying that uh, it's already difficult for them that, you know, their parents have, you know, separated na. Tapos mag-aaway pa kami ang pangit. So parang, we wanted to be, we wanted to have a relationship so that the girls could see it. Yeah. So that you girls will be okay. Yeah. So ang baring in pag-uusap namin na you have four parents, de ba? Yun yung usapan natin na you have uh, two sets of parents kung You have two dads and two moms, and that's how we all worked on our relationship. Na apat kami magkakasama, uh, bringing the kids up. But I have to say. Lila is who she is because of her mom. Her mom is a wonderful mom. Uh, of course, wala namang perfect na relationship. No. There's no perfect relationship. Kahit ako with my family, walang perfect na re- relationship. Walang perfect na marriage. That's why you work at it. Uh, you try to understand each other. And like she said, you have to have an open mind. You have to accept things. Of course, uh, sometimes it's very difficult to accept things, especially when you're growing up. I and think for children, it's like... Especially when you become a teenager. Yeah, when you're a kid, especially, like in my personal situation, I was five. So mm. a lot of it was like I didn't really understand why things were happening. I didn't mm. understand why I suddenly was living in another place. Mm. And I had to Without like... Without your dad? Yeah, I had to go to a new school with people I didn't know. I also looked different. And I, I grew up in a very small town, which was predominantly... Um, there wasn't like a lot of people from, from Asian countries there. So there was a lot of things about it that like I just felt out of place. And so as a kid, it's like when you feel like that and then you're like, you don't know how to make sense of it for you, so you look for something to blame. Mm. And that was pretty much the story growing up. Mm. And luckily I was able to mature a lot sooner than I'm sure a lot of kids do in this situation just because I was the eldest and I did have, you know, my mom who is incredible and very accepting who told me, on so many occasions, please just like accept it as it is. And um, you know, I also love love my stepdad, and he was a very big part of it too because mm. he just accepted. You know, he he came last in the situation. He mm. came into mm-hmm. it, and he accepted two everything. Years after, two, two years, years after. after, I think, and he just accepted everything as it was given to him. So he comes into this with like you know, my mom, and then she has an ex-husband, and then <laughs> and then you, and then two children, and it was just like a very big situation, and he accepted it wholeheartedly. He was so actually very good at it, too. Yeah, so I think, yes. you know, it's it's natural for children to be angry because, because they don't understand. Being able to now get to know you and dad and seeing who you are as people and your character, I know that it, it wasn't done in a malicious way. It wasn't because mm. you, you know wanted to hurt anyone and it was just a really hard situation an impossible Mm. situation because whichever way you go about it someone will get hurt 
you know, for kids, it's like that doesn't make sense. You know, if it was Nate understanding that, he wouldn't he wouldn't be able to get the situation entirely. He's li listening uh, there, Kanina, and then I just realized. Is it a good thing does that he, he's actually there listening? Does he know about all this? Yeah. <laughs> he does. He and he that's a funny thing, you know. <laughs> kids like he figured out a lot of the connections himself. He may not know exactly how it happened. Mm -hmm. Um but he knows like that dad is my dad, but Ninang Michelle is my mum, which usually <laughs> kids are like mm. Huh? That doesn't make sense. Huh? But he figured it out. So, he you know, kids, kids find ways to make sense of situations. And unfortunately, sometimes that comes with blame. Sarah also went through it in a different way because when everything happened, she was a tiny baby. She was like six she was months baby. old. She yeah. was a baby, yeah. So she never really experienced dad as mm. her dad. So for mm. me, it was like I, I, I grew up, formed this idea of dad in my head, and then it kind of was like taken away. For Sarah, she didn't really experience that, so it was it was in the beginning a little bit easier for her because when my stepdad came in, um, that was really her first idea of like a father figure. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember being kind of envious because I was like, wow, she doesn't have to deal with like, mm. you know, because I still had memories of living here and stuff mm. like that. And I remember I would tell my friends at school and they would think I was like making up this whole story about whatever and like, I would look at my sister and wish that I could also be in that position. But as I've grown up, I realize like all of these things that happened will in the end make Sarah and I and Nate mm. more open-minded when it comes to us having our own families mm. and going through our own hardships, whether it be breakups or, or divorce or whatever it is, mm. I'll be able to approach it in a different way because I grew up exposed to it. And I think that's something that is very valuable and it really can't be taken away from you because that's become a part of me. It's become a part of who I am. Um, and it also really made me respect my parents because, mm. you know, I'm, I'm turning 22. I'm experiencing like being in a relationship and all of that stuff and the difficult things that come with like feelings mm. and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm realizing now, you know, like, I'm coming to the age that my mom was when she met my dad. Mm. So, um, you know, I realized how young she was, like, when she had me. Mm. And so there's just, like, so many things that I could not possibly have known or understood when I was younger. And that's another thing is to just be patient. Be patient with kids, with your kids, because... You know, for example, if you're in a situation where you have a new husband or a new wife or a new partner and your child doesn't want to accept them, try to be a little bit patient because they probably just don't understand and they don't know how to understand. Mm -hmm. And I think that was what was really good about mm -hmm. you guys is that you didn't really force us to be any certain type of way mm. you just allowed us to be however we wanted to be and however we could be comfortable mm. and that was really what allowed me to go through the motions of like mm. figuring out how i felt mm. you know well wonderful talk we haven't talked like this in we a haven't while. and we it was haven't. a lot of topics I don't know if they're gonna take me seriously though with this face. It's alright, it makes it less <laughs> emotional when you have this. Look at my key lights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I look hideous. I literally just look normal, but whatever. This is not normal. <laughs> no, but um, it was wonderful talking with you. Thank you. I so love you. I love you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, lagi to naga I love you sa akin. Lagi. Every day. Every day I text Every her. Every day she says, I love you. But she calls me Anna Regine. Anna Regine. Ever Ani. since Ani. I was a kid. I feel like Ani. the auntie thing was like a way to make it less weird. <laughs> and it's just stuck now. But she's it's my she's now. my mama Reg. Yeah. But yes. But um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who uh, watched this. Um, this very serious <laughs> episode. And thank you, sweetheart, for, uh, for allowing course, me to have you in this program. And hopefully, we'll have other topics. So, like I said, uh, comment, down lang, below. comment down below kung ano pang pwedeng topics na pag-usapan natin. But 
This is definitely uh, the first but one of my favorites na naging topic. Eh, isa pa lang naman eh, but... <laughs> Sana nakapulot kayo ng aral para sa mga taong may similar situation like us na it can work. Pwede naman. Kung tatarbahuin nyo lang, if you guys are willing to accept, to be open-minded, and, and to work at your relationships, it can work. Look at us. I'm not uh, the, uh, no, the evil stepmom. No. I was hoping for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 <laughs> Thank you once again. And don't forget to follow us. Follow. Subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to subscribe and, and, like, the and video. like the video. And comment. Oh, and comment. Down below. Any suggestions? Any suggestions? Whatever. Maybe we can have Leela again. I don't know. What can you say, Boo? Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. He's been Thank sitting you. here the whole time yeah, making us sing. Not the whole time, but it was like half an hour. So I was up there like doing another vlog. Oh. oh. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Bye. Thank you.